Hey everyone, it's Christine, Mom from Parent TV. If you're new, and welcome back if you're not. We need to talk about The Conjuring House. I feel like there is so many things I want to talk to you guys about The Conjuring House investigation that I was not able to really divulge in the two videos that I uploaded. I originally wanted to make this one long video where I watch, I react, and tell you the things I want to tell you. I think I wanted to cut it up into two parts. I just don't think I have time to do that right now. If you hear like rattling, my AC kicked on, and my vertical blinds are just like rattling against the vent. So it will turn off. I'm sorry if it's annoying. Uh, it goes on and off, and it is pretty hot outside, so I need it on. I wanted to say that I did not plan this investigation. I was invited on it and uh, it was really interesting. It was I was going in there as a skeptic because I don't fully believe everything Ed and the Rain Warren had said. I think they fabricated some things. I don't believe the Bathsheba story at all. There's no evidence to support that. You cannot convince me that that was real. There was literally no evidence. I've talked about it before and it just doesn't, it doesn't ring true in my mind. I'm not saying everything was fabricated, but I do think certain things were and that's one of them. So I did not talk about Bathsheba at all. In fact, I'm surprised nobody's mentioned that in the comments. So let's just uh, get started. We'll put the first. We'll put the first video on. Let's start off by saying that the house was beautiful. I thought it was gorgeous. The piece of land was just so massive and beautiful, and the owners were really, really cool. And they had the cutest German Shepherds. And they were really, really nice. I liked the owners a lot. I thought that they were pretty uh, cool people. They answered a lot of questions. <laughs> My husband asked a lot of questions about the history, because he's a history buff. And uh, they were just, they were very nice people. So I'm in the middle of editing, and I just got out of the shower, and hence what hair, but I forgot to add this part in. My husband did not really want to take part in this investigation. Sorry, that was lazy sign. Uh, he didn't want to take part in this investigation at first, and we did not put his name down, but there were some cancellations, so there was a spot open. And when he got there, he was intrigued by the place. It wasn't, it didn't feel that creepy when you were investigating. The library was creepy, but like pretty much throughout the house, I didn't feel too freaked out aside from being outside at night and then uh, being in the library. Those are the only two that like really freaked me out. Uh, but the rest of the house wasn't creepy. And there's something I want to say, but I'm going to hold it off for the second part because it comes in to play on the second part. But Justin wasn't creeped out at all. I, you'll We'll get to that when you see the second part of this. But he wound up staying and really like the place and wants to go back and he's not nearly as into it as I am so I think that's saying something. The stove in this house uh is it's so cool I loved that stove on the wall oh it's so cool I mean can you imagine owning a house that is so old and has a wood burning stove <sighs> sorry I'm like gonna get comfortable here we're gonna be here for a little while. I didn't go down the basement. I went down the basement in the tour and I thought I would go down the basement, but I was feeling really asthmatic at certain points and I was really nervous to go down the basement and start up bronchitis, chronic illness issues. Um, I had a mask, but if I had like a better mask, I probably would have went down. I just felt like there was not enough protection. So I set up a camera downstairs and I went upstairs. The so the point of setting a camera up is just to see if you catch anything, and that's so what I was trying to do. Are, the floorboards in the, the house floor. and in so the barn were just like uneven and iffy feeling and walking in there. You can't tell 
because I had my night vision on, but it was dark, Ooh, so, so dark. The there was one light out. in the one room that was on Two. in this moment, but I, I wound up turning that light off, and yeah. it was just yeah. so dark in there. I had audio interference upstairs at this point the entire time I was up there. I don't know why, I actually had a lot of audio interference, it's not something that really happens too often with my cameras, and it was frustrating editing certain parts of this uh, video, or of these videos, because a lot of them, the audio was just not the best, and I don't really know why it was like that. And it was on all of my cameras, I think each one had audio interference at some point, which is very odd. I have three cameras. Ooh, can you imagine if I wasn't recording? Sorry, I just had like this horrible feeling like I was recording. <laughs> I almost didn't catch this, but this is my laugh. <laughs> and this is not. Sounds like it's mocking me, does it not? Because I laughed to myself and then it laughed after me like <laughs> I also want to add that if you listen closely, you can hear me sigh as the mysterious laugh occurs. <laughs> Rude spirits. Rude spirits. This whispering is so weird. It's just like, like what is that? It's not wind. I'm in a closet. Like, where would the wind come from? You can touch me. Pull my hair. Do what you gotta do to get my attention. So some of the comments that I got on here was that they believe that Tell me what a spirit is. actually pulled my hair because there doesn't seem to be a nail where my hair was. My hair got I moved and you can see, like, there is no nail there. I don't really know. Could be a paint chip, but it doesn't look like any chipped paint either. It was very odd. It did feel like a little, like, a little tug like that. Nothing major. Just like a very little tug. And it also said you could pull my hair, like, right before that. But I think very logically, and because I think very logically, I didn't pay any attention to the fact that I just said you can pull my hair. Um... So the, I don't know, it was all very weird and I'm not going to sit here and say that a spirit pulled my hair at the Conjuring house, but I'm going to sit here and say, I don't know what the hell happened with my hair at the Conjuring house. For a good portion of the night, we did not admit that we were freaked out by the library. Um, I kept looking at it and I noticed Justin kept looking at it. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to be that person to say, hey, that room freaks me out for no reason at all, but it does, and I'm being a baby. Ryan had mentioned that it was freaky at one point, and I was like, yes, I thought so too. And then Justin said he thought so, and then Amy agreed, so it was very weird that we all felt creeped out by the same room. And also, I think pretty logically, Justin thinks very logically, like extremely logically, so for him to be freaked out, it's a little weird. And then we have the uh, mic interferences, the audio interferences with this camera, which is a different camera from the camera that I have upstairs, so that's two different cameras that have audio interference. My third camera had audio interference later on in the night. You heard that? Sometimes the noises felt like they were nearby but far enough away where it was hard to investigate them. Almost like it was playing a game and hiding. I think I heard basement. And I just put a camera by the basement. The only reason why I'm even considering the odds of getting basement on the spare box immediately after I put a camera by the basement, and then there's the anomaly, like, could that be more suspicious? I don't think so. You know what, I should keep a tally of how many times a spirit told me 
to go home or run or anything like that. I'm going to do that. Excuse me real quick. Well, I can't find my pens, so I'm going to use my phone to tell me. I heard Nick a few times, so I, I feel like somebody named Nick is definitely there. Did you live here? That almost sounds like a snake. Do you know who lives here? Can you give me any names? Maybe somebody who used to live here? I feel like when you slowed it down, you could really hear you used to, but I'm not certain on that one. And that's kind of creepy because, like I said in the second part, there was a daughter named Christine. I didn't say it in this part, but in the second part, I said there was a daughter named Christine. My name's Christine. I know, I know. A light anomaly now. Woohoo. But hear me out. This is actually in the same corner as the previous anomaly. So I find that a little bit strange, except for this one has a glow that is tinted blue. So it tells me it's a light. And I don't know where this light is coming from because Amy and Ryan are not shining lights into the windows. And the house is far from the street. The windows do not have a lot of room for light to enter. It could, but I just don't know where the light would come from. So I just wanted to say that. Don't kill me in the comments. This I'm not sold on, but I thought it was weird and I should include it as a maybe paranormal, maybe not. And I have to say everyone was very nice in the comments. Go home. We got one for go home, so let's put that down in the notes. I got told to go, go home, run like rude things more than I have ever been told in any investigation and it was just like over and over again. Someone in the comments actually told me anything it sounds like go away so we're gonna mark that down as go away because now I can kind of hear it. Sometimes you just need to be pointed out by somebody else what it's actually saying so I do hear go away so we'll put that down. Doesn't Lacey just look oh so comfortable? My camera died, but we're back. So I wanted to say that there were surprisingly a lot of children voices, which I wasn't expecting. What if I went home and dressed in steady, 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 steady? I feel like that voice came through a lot. Life. Well, I see you. I feel like because I was so eager to see something and to interact with something that it did not want to give me that opportunity. A lot of the responses were uh, short and rude and yelled at me. And if you look at Amy and Ryan's video, Ryan was a little less eager like I'm not saying he was scared or anything but he didn't show his uh eagerness to see something as much as I did and he is the one who saw something so can you tell me what happened here in this room the people have tried to contact you a long time ago and someone was attacked That no was pretty passionate, I would say. I like, felt like it was like, no. It wasn't necessarily shouting it, but it was firm. The thing I didn't notice until just now is that when we hear this noise, there is an anomaly on the upper right hand corner. I personally think it is just a coincidence, but I'm curious to know 
what you guys think because it is really weird timing again. I honestly forgot that I thought I saw a shadow. It's really hard to say. Amy and Ryan were outside, so it's really hard for me to say. And it was like really quick and I think logically, so I kind of just like brushed it off because they were outside, so I can't say for sure. My air just kicked on again, so if you hear that, sorry. But uh, I just wanted to add that in there, why I briefly mention it and then I like never talk about it again. That's why. We heard a lot of noises. Some I caught on camera, some I didn't. But they were always near enough where we could hear them, but far enough away that we weren't sure where they were, except for in the second uh, part, there was like one instance where we knew exactly where it was coming from. But almost all the noises were close enough that we could hear it, but far enough away where we weren't sure exactly where they were coming from. We could guess, but we weren't sure. And it really felt like it was hiding from us. This EVP is so faint, and I actually forgot about this EVP. I almost didn't catch it. In fact, I was just like about to render this video, and I'd suddenly watch it one last time, and I heard that, and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost didn't catch that. EVPs are my favorite form of evidence, too. And I'm usually really careful, but this one was like super faint and really, really quick. So I actually had a few comments telling me they love the multiple camera angles. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes multiple camera angles can be really a pain in my ass to edit. Hi, Salem. Salem. Come here. Come here. Come say hi. I don't know if you guys can see her. I can't pick her up. She doesn't like to be picked up. But uh, I'm trying to get her to, to come out a little bit more because she's not fully used to the move. Hi. You're so pretty. But she's adjusting really well. I mean, really well. So I'm pretty proud of that. This was my neighbor's cat. I really don't know if you can see her. Not on the picture. But this was my neighbor's cat from my old block. They abandoned her. And I took care of her, and now she is my cat, and we moved, and she's been all over the place. Oh, Sailor, you're so cute. The light above, I'm pretty sure, is a security light, and editing it, I really wish that wasn't there. I wish I noticed it, and I angled my camera differently, and I sat differently. <laughs> Lisa looks so funny, your eyes when they were bulging overhead. I didn't notice it and unfortunately it's there and it bugged me while editing it because I feel like visually it's annoying, but that's what that light is. I did turn off all the lights. Those are two different voices. They happen so quickly that next to each other that it was hard for me to split, but one person says no. Another voice says I was born here which is a super interesting response. Let me pause this. Because they believed that something was brought in during the seance. So saying I was born here is quite possibly confirming that belief. Uh, I mean, you can never say for sure, but that was a really interesting response. And I listened to that response so many times because that is such a weird response I was like that cannot be what it's saying it just can't be but that really to me sounds like what it's saying I listened to it so many times I had messed with the audio like I had slowed it down I had removed some of the background noise and to me always it sounds like I was born here no, a lot of people live here. interestingly enough this was the last response that I got on it the spear box for the part for this part um for this session i should say so part one was interesting but pretty tamed considering what happens in part two i unfortunately do not have time to sit down and my dog is snoring so i'm sorry if you hear that but i do not have time to really get into part two i will do another video on that 
but I figured let me sit down and do part one right now while I look decent and uh, I am able to because I've been pretty busy lately but I wanted to just kind of read through some of the comments um, so Amy who was one of the people that was there that night said she was still in awe over how rude and spicy the responses we got nearly the entire night were and that is so true and part two it even hypes up more with the rude responses the yelling go home and the you know goodbye kind of situation like I don't want to talk to you uh, it gets more intense with that and that was just kind of what happened throughout the night and I've never had go home go run repeat it so much in an investigation before this is the only time where I've had it repeatedly told to me over and over people were saying how direct the responses are and I really feel like I got several direct responses and somebody said it seems like something went to communicate at times but something else didn't want wanted to and I kind of feel like that too like there were things that were starting to come through and then it always sounded like a male an older male a deep voice came through and he was the one shutting it down which is really interesting and weird and interesting and someone else picked up on that so someone mentioned the light anomaly at around 14 is really interesting because it's wicked trajectory you see how that thing curves they said which is true like it's just the movements of the not like I never really pick up on these things and think that they're paranormal but these things happen at the most curious timing like when it said basement and then there was that anomaly that went by the basement like and I just put a camera by the basement all these things happen one after the other after the other and like yes I guess technically I could have put the camera there and kicked up some dust and eventually some dust flew by and it's all a major coincidence but it's so curious the timing and I just thought it was really really strange which is why I talked about it and I never talk about orbs because I'm not a big fan of orbs I think they're mostly dust or bugs or lights 90% of the time but I have to say, the orbs that I caught, some of them I definitely think were dust, and you will see them in the videos, and I say nothing about them, because I thought those were dust. But some of them in the conjuring house were very odd, and I never say that. I can only think of two times in my entire investigating career, it's not even a career, but only two times have I ever considered an orb to be paranormal and they were pretty interesting there was reasons behind that so it's just odd to me it's just odd okay so I'm going to get ready to go now I'm sorry that lazy snoring has been a constant factor in the background I will not be shocked if it picks up it's kind of loud she is a boxer they snore a lot and know this pillow if you can see it throughout like my time holding it this is not a pillow of lacy it just really looks like lacy so someone got it for lacy and um, I feel more comfortable holding something I don't know why so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video bye oh it's a moth <sighs> everything's fine I was like, is there ah. something in the lab? Oh my god. <laughs> We're fine. It's it's fine. I was gonna say, do we have to kill it?